We're gonna start out today, we're gonna go Gata, like we always do. Coach Smith's got to start stop turns. Then we're gonna go how to defend two guys on one, right? Rotation, all that stuff. We'll shoot and record some free throws. Let's get it done. Here we go, Rams. Team on three, ready? One, two, three, two. Today is a great day because it's our first day of practice. At the same time, it's a, it's a, it's an interesting time for me because, and our staff, is because we're not completely overhauling a roster, uh, a scheme change, or whatever it might be. Let's go, T. Frank! Good, good job. Charge, let's go, take a charge. Oh, yeah! Let's go, Oh! We have a lot of inexperience, but at the same time, we do have a lot of experience because we have a lot of guys that redshirted in our program last year, whether it was because they're a Division I transfer uh, injury or just uh, holding them out of here to be better. So we feel like we have a lot of good things in place that way. Coach Miles has done you know, a great job of bringing in the right guys, and uh, you know we all love each other. And uh, just as a team, I think we just all hold each other accountable a lot more. And uh, you know this year, we have, we have some leaders too. We don't want to be mediocre anymore. Um, we were a middle of the road team last year. We saw everybody, we beat everybody under us and we, we didn't beat anybody ahead of us. And, uh, our goal is to, you know, try to make it to, you know, an NCAA tournament and, you know, make noise when we get there. If Dwight just is running hard this way and it's going to stop right there and allow himself to be blocked out, we're not good enough, right? You just got to think multiple efforts. Make them stop one action and then take them the other way. Whatever it is, multiple efforts, right? Everybody knows what the word multiple means, right? Can you spell it? Wes, multiple? Very good, here we go. Using a sentence? Let's go. Well, I'm excited about the roster this year. Uh, I'm looking forward to this group. I think it's the most depth we've had. And I think this is a, a time that we can put more pressure on our opponents. We can play harder for longer periods of time uh, because we won't just rely on a few guys to carry the load in terms of minutes and production. I think though it starts with our, our seniors. These guys are so special to me because they truly bet on us. They truly came to our program when we were so bad, when there was nothing to bet on. Start with Andy Elgaday who returns as an all-conference player. Voted as a team captain, is a guy I expect to be better. He really, if we're going to improve as a team, needs to get better defensively and rebounding. Adam Nygon is our X Factor. Certainly he's starting the year hurt, so I'll be really curious to see how he comes through the year because he hasn't had the same summer that he had previously in terms of just shots, um, the number of repetitions he can get with his shot. Andre McFarlane is as healthy as I've ever seen him. And so I'm, I'm truly excited about that, to have an, uh, you know, a, a full Dre back. Hopefully we can keep him healthy in, the, healthy in the preseason and get him going because when he gets an open look at a three-pointer, it, it's going in. I think the guy that shows the most improvement is Travis Franklin. The guy is just, uh, you know, continues to get better, great enthusiasm, uh, very in tune to our system. We have only one junior, Will Bell. Uh, Will came uh, to us from Northeastern Junior College. He is a phenomenal athlete. He is as quick off the floor consecutively as anybody I've coached. And uh, he's just got to fine tune his skill, slow down a little bit on offense, understand what we're doing defensively, and, and Will could be a guy that could be a factor for us. Then you look at that sophomore class, and I think that's really a marquee class for us. Uh, you start with a couple of the red shirts. Jesse Carr, who was one of the top three freshmen in the league his freshman year, then got hurt. His pelvis is perfect. Uh, we're excited about that, truly. I'm 100% healthy. I had a migraine last night, but I'm good now, so. Wes Eichmeyer is a slender guy that is an excellent three-point shooter. Wes is a Division I transfer from Iowa State. He's one of Jesse's best friends. That's how we got him. Those are our two uh, sophomores that redshirted. And then those three kids that everybody knows from last year, Dorian Green, who I think is really playing well. And again, he's a guy that shall be able to play off the ball and at point guard. You look at Pierce Hornig, who broke his foot. It's coming off, off a stress fracture in his foot. If we can keep Pierce healthy, he'll be, he's such a tough guy. He's such a smart player. He'll be really good for us. And lastly, Greg Smith. And you know, Greg's one of those guys, a little bit of an enigma to me, because he's kind of in the same place he was last year. And he's got as much talent as anybody in our program. So it's just getting him back. Uh, and uh, I believe in Greg. I think he'll get it done, too. Now we have to look at our freshmen. We have four freshmen. Redshirt freshman Trevor Williams. And, and Trevor is. 6'11", 7 feet, 280 pounds. 
He's huge, man. He makes Ogden and those guys just look tiny. And then the three true freshmen are a lot of fun. We have Maurice Wiltz, who's from Houston, Texas. Mr. Polo, Mr. Ralph Lauren. Chad Calcaterra is a young guy. He's awesome. I just uh, love Chad's energy and his smile. He's great to be around. He's 6'10". He's an excellent athlete, can run. Lastly is Dwight Smith, which is... Uh, Greg's little brother and and Dwight's been such a pleasure to have I think he pushes Greg uh, he's been great to have the guys love playing for him this is a good group we'll be together because you reap what you sow we've recruited the right kind of guys that that like each other are good guys that people would like our viewers would like uh, um, and so I'm excited where we're at but we've got a lot of work to do too that's not lost that's not lost upon us in any way shape or form here we go see you Travis Greg see both